Hey football players, my name is Football Coach Allen and today on this channel I'm going to talk to you about positional workouts. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be going away from explaining bas or football plays and going into football workouts mainly because I think that's going to help you more during this time that we're not able to really play football or really not really able to leave our house. So if you are a defensive line player what you're going to be really wanting to focus on is your chest that's going to allow you to uh, basically hold back a, an offensive line player also your lower body your legs your hips that's going to be extremely important uh, so some of the exercises that you can do are going to be squats lunges and we're going to get into even more than that coming up in the future next if you are a receiver what you're going to be wanting to do also a running back what you're going to be looking to do is a lot of run training see how far you can run how fast you can run what you want to really do is run for 20 to 25 minutes a day and then go for 40 yard sprints and you want to do 5 to 10 of those after a 20 to 30 minute jog. This is going to really help you. And then agility ladder drills are also going to help you and we're going to be getting into that and I already have a few videos on that on this channel. Go check out the link in the description and also the top comments below. Also. If you are an offensive line player, what you're going to really want to work on, again, similar to the defensive line, is your chest and your legs, but you really want to work on your core. That's going to allow you to be able to stay stable when you're trying to get through those defensive line players. If you're a running back and a, and a receiver, you also want to work on your core too. That's going to help your agility to move uh, around your players, maybe juke out your players just a, a bit, your defensive players. And if you're a cornerback or a, a mid-defensive player, what you're going to be looking to do is very similar to the receiver workouts, but we're, we'll be going in deeper depth into those as well. Now something that every single player if you're playing football what you should do no matter if you're a quarterback you're a receiver you're a cornerback you're anything is shoulder workouts and what i want you to start doing today try to find some kind of a weight these are a little bit heavier than you might be starting to use yourself but basically you're going to be having the weight to your side and you're going to be lifting the weights up to your shoulder height and back down towards the sides and then the same if you're going out towards the front. Now these are 20 pounds. You can go a bit heavier, you can go a bit lighter, depending on if you've done it before. But if it's your first time ever doing it, you might wanna only start with five pounds or 10 pounds. Then you build up from there. This is going to allow you to really cut down on injuries that you may have. When you start running into players, start tackling players, or trying to just run through a player who's trying to take you down. Anyways, that's what we're going to be discussing over the next couple of weeks while we're still stuck at home. And I'll see you guys in my next video.